Thank you for the opportunity to discuss management and outcomes of renal medullary carcinoma. Renal medullary carcinoma is an exceedingly rare subtype of kidney cancer and occurs primarily in young African American patients with sickle cell hemoglobinopathies. The exact pathophysiology is not well understood, but is thought to be related to chronic medullary hypoxia. Because this disease type is so rare, we have limited data, and most of our experience comes from case reports and case series. Our study looked at 52 patients with renal medullary carcinoma, or RMC, that were treated across seven institutions in North America and Europe. The median age of presentation was 28 years of age. Two-thirds of the patients presented with de novo metastatic disease. The median overall survival for our cohort was only 13 months. While this is an improvement upon the historical quoted rates of five months, it is still a quite dismal outcome. 75% of the patients underwent a nephrectomy. Those that underwent a nephrectomy seemed to have an improved overall survival compared to those who did not. The cohort that underwent nephrectomy had a median overall survival of 16.4 months as compared to seven months with those that did not undergo a cytoreductive nephrectomy. All 52 patients received cytotoxic chemotherapy. The objective response rate for chemotherapy was 29%, and the vast majority of patients received platinum-based doublet chemotherapy with either gemcitabine cisplatin or carboplatin paclitaxel. 28 patients received targeted therapies with TKIs. Unfortunately, there was a 0% objective response rate, and median duration of treatment was only eight weeks, suggests that this is not an effective way of controlling this disease type. Two patients actually had an excellent outcome, with almost no evidence of disease now at the four-year mark. However, this is the exception and not the rule, as only 13 patients were, 13 percent of patients were alive at the two-year mark. And there are a couple interesting things to note here. First is the question of whether cytoreductive nephrectomy is improvement in survival. This is a retrospective study, and some selection bias is inherent. However, surgery should be discussed in a multidisciplinary setting. If a patient has a low volume of disease and a preserved performance status, cytoreductive nephrectomy is something to consider. However, it is unlikely to benefit a patient with a high burden of disease and a great deal of symptomatology. Cytotoxic chemotherapy remains the mainstay of control in this disease, and targeted therapy is not an effective option here. However, given the overall poor outcomes, Novel therapies are desperately needed to improve outcomes. There are multiple ongoing clinical trials right now looking at EZH2 inhibitors, which work on the SMARC-B1 pathway, immunotherapies, and novel proteasome inhibitor and chemotherapy combinations. Multi-institutional and multidisciplinary collaboration is key to improve outcomes in this morbid disease.